protesters here say they're disappointed but not defeated by the US Supreme Court's decision. A number of demonstrations are planned across the city on Friday evening in the wake of the ruling. President Biden says the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade has left him stunned. 13 states have trigger laws in place, meaning that bans on abortion will likely soon come into effect. The issue of abortion is highly polarizing in the US. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy says the court is right to return the power to protect the unborn to the people's elected representatives in Congress and the states. Those here in Manhattan's Union Square say it's a woman's right to choose. Fundamentally, it's a, it's a woman's choice. Um, whether or not to have an abortion, it's between her and her medical provider, and so it's important that we come out um, and make some noise and just let the politicians know that this is not okay and we're not going to just take it. Well, I would hope that we could actually create laws rather than just have cases and um, that protect everyone's right to choose who they love, how they treat their body. It's not just members of the public that are making their voices heard. New York's Governor Kathy Hochul says the Supreme Court decision is a grave injustice, adding that the state will remain a safe harbor for those seeking abortion care. The state has recently invested $35 million to support abortion providers. The United Nations has weighed in too. UN Women says that reproductive rights are an integral part of women's rights. A spokesperson for Secretary General Antonio Guterres says that restricting access to abortion does not prevent people from seeking abortion, it only makes it more deadly. The constitutional right to an abortion has been eliminated after nearly 50 years in the US. Those here say they're committed to winning it back.